Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this Tumblr tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a peekaboo Tumblr fit for royalty. We're going to be using all four colors from the April 2023 Peachy Palette from Peachy Olive Glitters, and I really hope that you enjoy it. I'll have a full supply list down below in the description box as always. If you do like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and I think that's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. <laughs> This palette is so good, you guys. We are gonna start by going through each color individually. I'll show them each to you up close as well. So first we've got Oath, then we've got Coronation, next we've got Regal, and then finally we have Heavenly. So obviously this has definitely a royal tone to it. Um, the first color I'm gonna show you up close is Oath. This is the extra fine cut in the palette. It's got a little bit of the teal and a little bit of the purple that are featured in this palette as well. It's a little mix. Um, really, really beautiful extra fine cut. The next one we've got is Coronation. This one is my favorite from the palette. It's a really beautiful, bright, like turquoise teal color. It's got some square cut pieces in there, super bright, shiny, metallic. It's absolutely beautiful. So then the next color we've got is Royalty. This is also a chunkier cut. This is a really pretty lavender light purple color. Super, super pretty. And then finally, we have Heavenly. This is like a almost like a silver version of Athena. It's got a little bit of that opal holographic shift that Athena has. It's like a champagne silver, if that makes sense, also a chunky cut. So those are the four colors we're going to be working with in this tutorial. I love this palette. I cannot wait to show it to you guys on a tumbler. So we're gonna get started with a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. I sanded the surface of the tumbler down really well, washed it with dish soap and water, and then went in straight with a very thin coat of epoxy. We're gonna be using Heavenly, which is the silvery color on our cup first. So I didn't base paint my cup. I just went right in on the prepped stainless steel. I used about three to five milliliters of epoxy to apply this glitter because it's on the chunkier side. I wanted to use a little bit more epoxy than you typically would for the epoxy method. After I've got my glitter applied, as you can see here, I'm going to go in and kind of remove the glitter from that top rim because this is going to be a peekaboo. I really don't want to deal with a lot of bumps and stuff up at that top rim when we go to do the peekaboo. So I just removed that glitter right after application. Once the epoxy is dry, I let it sit about three to four hours. I'm going to roll my cup in my sheet of scrapbook paper. You can use parchment paper, wax paper, whatever you have. The goal here is to just get the glitter to lie as flat as possible. This is going to be a design that you have to do quite a few layers of epoxy with just because of the nature of the design. So if you can cut down on the thickness where you can, that's really going to make a difference. So getting your glitter to lie flat at this stage will save you a lot of headache later. Once I've got the glitter lying as flat as I can get it, I'm going to seal it with my mix of Crystalot glitter glue and water. I do a one-to-one -one ratio or half and half. I'm going to do a coat of that, let that dry for two hours, and then I'm going to add two coats of epoxy to my tumbler. Now at this point, my cup is pretty smooth, but we need to do a lot of sanding before we go in and do our peekaboo. So I'm going to take my orbital sander, my new favorite thing on the planet, and I am going to sand the bejesus out of this cup. I want this to be as smooth as possible because like I said, we've got a lot of layers to do and I don't want this to be a 10 pound cup in the end. So I also took my little Dremel, cleaned up the top rim again, and then I washed my cup with dish soap and water. And now we're ready to move on to the next step. For the peekaboo element of this design, we're going to put a large crown on the bottom portion of our tumbler. I drew this crown. The SVG is available on my website if you'd like to use the same one. And when I was drawing this, I tried to keep all of the lines really simple and pretty thick to make it easier to peel up for a peekaboo. So I cut it out of my stencil vinyl. I made it nine inches wide to ensure that it would go 
almost around the entire tumbler. Um, if you want it to go all the way around, you'll just have to adjust your measurements a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is just wrap it around. As you can see, I've applied my transfer tape. I haven't weeded the stencil yet. I want to do that when the decal is already on the tumbler. I just find that it's a little bit easier that way. So I've wrapped the stencil around the bottom edge of my tumbler and now I'm going to cut away a little bit of the backing from my vinyl and secure that piece onto my cup first and then I'll smooth the rest of the vinyl on. You guys have seen me do this a million times. This is how I do all of my decals with the hinge method. Um, so I'm just going to push the vinyl onto my tumbler making sure that I've got everything smooth and correctly placed. Once I've got it on I'm going to go through and carefully remove all of my transfer tape and then we will weed out all of these little pieces in the middle of the crown. For the top layer of the peekaboo, we're going to do an ombre of the purple and the teal color. So I'm going to do the purple on top. I'm going to use grape from Rust-Oleum for that. And then for the bottom teal section, I'm using planet blue from Montana Colors. So when I paint this, I'm going to bring the teal color all the way up to the top portions of the crown around the tumbler and then the rest from the top down will be the purple you'll you guys will see in a second but what I'm going to do before I paint is take my hot glue gun and put a few little dots of glue stripes of glue on different portions of my stencil to help me find the stencil pieces underneath my glitter because we're going to go right in with our glitter over the stencil so that we can do obviously a glitter peekaboo so I put a bunch of those dots on there to help me see where the stencils are placed underneath this chunky glitter. So I spray painted my cup. You guys can see there the ombre I'm kind of talking about. So in some places, the purple goes down further on the cup, like when the crown pieces are lower, and then the teal comes up higher when the crown is taller. Hopefully that makes sense. I let my paint dry about 20 minutes, and now I'm going in with the Crystallac glitter glue to use as the adhesive for my glitter. So we're gonna start with Regal, which is the chunky purple from the palette. I'm gonna go pretty heavy on that top rim, and then start to fade my color down a little bit. Now we're not looking for like a perfect flawless ombre here. Um, obviously you want it to be as blended as you can get it, but it doesn't have to be super duper perfect. So then once I've got Regal down, I'm going to go in from the bottom up the cup with Coronation. And then to help fill in and blend a little bit better, I'm going to take two fine cut glitters that kind of match the ones from the palette. For the teal, I'm taking Andrews. And then for the purple, I'm taking the K. And I'm just using those to help blend those colors just a little bit. Once I've got the glitters on, I'm going to tap off the excess with my scissors. And then I'm going to go right in and start peeling my decals. I don't want this to dry for too long. You can maybe wait like maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes, but you don't want your glue and your glitter and all of that to dry over your stencils. It'll just make it really hard to peel these up because it'll be so thick on top. So I'm going to go right in right away and start peeling these things up. You can see even with it being wet, it's just a thick layer on top of that stencil vinyl. So it was really hard to peel up, but the glue dots made a huge difference definitely helped me find all of these little intricate pieces. You can see I'm using my needle nose tweezers to get in there and really peel these up. There are a few places on here where I kind of scratched it a little bit, messed up the glitter, but in the end it ended up looking totally fine. It took me about 30 minutes to peel off all of the crown vinyl. Once it was all peeled, I let my glitter glue dry for at least two hours. And now I'm going to roll my cup up again in my scrapbook paper to get the glitter to lie as flat as I can get it. And then I'm going to go through and brush off all of this excess glitter with my chip brush. Then I'll spray my cup with a coat of clear gloss spray from rust -Oleum, and then go right in with another coat of epoxy. After that coat was cured, I went in and did another round of light sanding. And now we're going to move into the decal for the backside of the cup. I'm going to glitter the offset for my decal. So I'm going to show you a little trick to accomplish that. I've got a piece of Oracle 651 vinyl. It's a navy blue color. I wanted a dark base for this glitter. And I'm going to lay on top of that vinyl a little piece of double-sided adhesive. This adhesive is from Amazon. It works great. So I'm just going to to lay that right on top of that piece of navy blue vinyl sticky side down I'm leaving the top protective sheet of the adhesive 
on the vinyl, obviously. So we're going to put this in my silhouette and cut my decal out of this. One thing to note if you're going to do this technique is to increase your cut pressure by like a ton. I usually cut at like a 17 pressure. I put my silhouette all the way up to I think a 22 or a 23. This is going to be a very thick sheet of vinyl so just keep that in mind when you cut your decal out. I would also recommend using this technique only for more kind of like simple decals. If you try to do this with a more intricate fine line script it might be really hard to weed. But anyway, I cut that out and I'm going to, as you can see here, just weed out all of the excess vinyl. Make sure you get all of the vinyl and double-sided adhesive from in between your letters as well. And then I'm going to put a sheet of transfer tape over this and we're going to apply it to our tumbler. The quote we're using says, Heavy is the crown, but never for a queen. This SVG is also available on my website. I'll have it linked down below in the description box as well. So I'm going to apply this on the back side of our tumbler, like where our crown ends. And as I remove the transfer tape from the decal when I have already placed it on the tumbler, you'll see that that top layer of protective backing or that top paper sheet is going to come off with the transfer tape to expose that double-sided adhesive so we can go right in and glitter this area. We're going to use Oath, which is the extra fine cut glitter from the palette. I am so happy with how this turned out. I can't wait to do this more in the future with different colors and I feel like it just gives a little bit of extra zhuzh or extra something to your design. So I put that on there, brushed off all of the excess, spray sealed it with a coat of clear gloss spray from Rust-Oleum again, and then I added another coat of epoxy. I told you guys this is going to be a super thick one. <laughs> so initially when I glittered this, I added a little bit of oath to the very bottom of the tumbler, and I didn't like how it faded into coronation. I didn't do a good job like blending those two, so I'm just going to tape off the bottom really quick give it a coat of Mod Podge and then add coronation to the bottom as well so that it all kind of flows together really nicely. Once that's on there, I'm going to let it dry for about 45 minutes and then we'll be ready for our next step. Once the glitter on the bottom of your tumbler is all dry, you can go in and apply your top layer of your decal to your offset. You can do this before you glitter the bottom or if you glittered the bottom previously, you can just go right into this step after your glitter offset is sealed with epoxy and totally smooth, of course. So for the top layer of the decal, I'm using Silver Texture Metallic Vinyl from Cricut and I'm going to place this onto my offset individually word by word. That's just easier for me to do it that way. If you wanna place the whole decal in one piece, you absolutely can. But I just prefer to do all of my offsets and layering and everything piece by piece. It's just easier for me. After the top layer of the decal was placed, I sealed my vinyl with a coat of polycrylic and then I went in with another coat of epoxy. This definitely needs another good round of sanding and probably one more final coat, maybe two depending on how smooth it is. This is definitely a thick boy, but I really love the final result. I love how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will let you guys know on Instagram, Facebook, all of that in my Facebook group when the colors from this peachy palette are available individually. So be sure to follow me on Instagram, join my Facebook group if you want those kinds of updates and other fun stuff from me. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye.